Welcome to another edition of Traditions Tuesday, where we speak with some of the great people with William Carey University here on the Gulf Coast, out on Highway 67. Uh, we've talked to him in the past, Dr. Dave Weldon, who's the Associate Dean of Pharmacy. How are you, sir? Doing great, how are you, Jim? I'm doing great, and you've brought a couple of your students with us today. I have. Now you got a very special program, and that's what we're going to talk about today, the special program that they have. And again, about the great things that they're doing out at William Carey University. So if you would, introduce your uh, students to us. Perfect, yeah, we have Haley Stabinski here. Haley's a uh, second year pharmacy student. And we have Tyler Hand, also a second year pharmacy student, have been on the mission trip before and mm -hmm. are going back again this year. And this is called CPFI. Yes, that's, that's a national pharmacy organization, student organization, stands for Christians Pharmacists Fellowship International. Mm -hmm. And we do a lot of, we have a monthly meeting, we do a lot of community service projects here in the uh, local Gulf Coast community. We also have a chance each month to kind of step back from school, talk about things of faith, and uh, give the cha uh, students a chance to recharge a little bit um, mm -hmm. in our monthly meetings. But then one big thing we do every year is uh, for our four fourth year in a row is we do an international mission trip um, to so far the Dominican Republic and also to Guatemala. We've talked about this in the past about we the have. Great program there, but I want to hear it from their side. And we're going to start with you, Haley. T tell us what, it's, what was it like going there? So this is my first time ever doing anything like this, and it was a little intimidating at first because, you know, you can't speak to them directly. You have to talk to your translators and stuff, but being there and being able to help them and also help myself by learning things in the community, it was, you could see their, through their body language and their facial expressions how thankful they were, and it was a really rewarding experience for me. And what about you? Yeah, it, it was an incredible experience. I think so often we do cases and we do things we read about but being boots on the ground with people who have a great need for health care that just don't have access to it was incredible to see that and be able to actually be a part and just being a, a really big help to that community was fantastic and then you know just seeing the actual drugs that we can buy every day that they just can't so it's it's awesome that we can provide that and actually be a valuable resource to those communities and that's one of the big things down there I mean they you, they can't get the uh, the medications that we can so easily up here. Well, I mean, we need um, antibiotic. We can go to the store and go to the doctor and say, you know, I've got uh, infection, I need antibiotic. They can't do that down there. And, right. uh, and you, have, you get to work with them on such a one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, it's, it's got to really give you a great feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's one, of the, uh, one of the things that we are able to do is we actually purchase a lot of the, medi well, all of the medication as part of the students donate money and we purchase that medication mm -hmm. that we use in those clinics every day. Um, so we purchase about three thousand U.S. dollars worth of medication for that four-day clinic period. Um, that same amount of medication would probably be close to thirty thousand dollars if purchased here. Uh, so we were able to, um, through uh, the help of other missions and and, and uh, other organizations there, we purchase boxes. Like when we first arrived, there's probably thirty, forty boxes full of medications just packed tight in there and um, we're able to distribute a, a large quantity of meds over these four days of clinic. Do they have physicians there too that can basically diagnose, okay, this person needs this, this person needs this, so you're not just handing out uh, medications? Yes, so there was um, one last year that was with us also, but also that's an experience we get to get as pharmacists too, is we were able to actually take part in helping diagnose or give them the medication that we thought that they needed. And that's the one thing, a lot of people don't realize that pharmacists have this knowledge, they have, and sometimes, sorry docs, but uh, sometimes they have <laughs> a little bit more knowledge than the doctor does about, okay, this med medication is going to do this person a lot better than this medication is, because you work with them all the time, and you know, you know exactly how people are going to be affected by it. Yeah, we have uh, local <laughs> physicians that help us, we have local nurses that will show up, uh, and even, you know, um, you know, a lot of the places that we've gone so far have... Uh, they have nationalized kind of medicine um, a system, and so they have a lot of health, um, public health officials that'll show up that work for the U.S. or sorry, that work for the Dominican government or the Guatemalan government, mm -hmm. um, nurses and doctors, and, and so they'll show up and and do that part. And then, like Haley said, they really bring our students alongside of them, tell them like this is why I'm diagnosing this patient this way. So there's there's safety in check there with the uh, with registered nurses and physicians there local in their community in their country, uh, but also it's a great knowledge that they pass along to our students because at some point, you know, infections are infections no matter where they occur. True, very true. So now when they come across here in the U.S., when they come across a patient with an infection, they'll have a little bit of understanding of, 
what potentially that physician or that nurse practitioner or that physician assistant was thinking when they diagnosed them with this infection and, and why, what medication was sent to them and was it, is it the best medication, right? So now they have, it's, it's, it's that real experience for, for the students to bring back here and then apply in their scope of practice here in the U.S. Do any of the nurses from William Carey University take part in this or is it just mainly the pharmaceutical department? So far, just the School of Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. um, we've had some community uh, involvement. Uh, in fact, this year, uh, Tyler's uh, wife will be going with us. She's awesome. a nurse. Uh, another one of our students' mother-in-law is going to go with us. She's a retired nurse. And so we're slowly working it in. I've been working a couple of uh, nurse practitioners and one physician in the area that keeps talking about, yeah, I want to go. And then, of course, work is always a problem. But um, I feel like maybe next year I'm going to get them to go with us. And so that way we can take our own community nurses and physicians and you know, lots of people on the coast. I mean, one thing about being here on the coast and in the South in general, we want to help people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I see this growing into something much bigger and much different over the next uh, four to 10 years. And also, uh, William Carey University is so community minded and all the things that they get involved with here locally that the community and to help the community. And I think it's just wonderful that they expand that community out into all different places of the world. Yeah. And I mean, these third world countries that don't have the help that you know like we do here yeah it's part of our mission as as from the university side and also as, as christians our job is to be the hands and feet of jesus and so mm -hmm. this is one way that we think that we can do that in in our scope of training the university supports this greatly um, we get about ten thousand dollars from the university every year so they put their money where their mouth is uh, but it's still a very expensive uh, proposition for our students. Uh, each student spends about a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars out of their own money to go on this. And uh, so I'll make my plea to the audience now. We need a benefactor. Go ahead. If there's a benefactor out there, if this, this connects with somebody in our community, we would love to have um, you know an additional sort of sponsor or benefactor to help these students. Uh, I know there's students that don't go mm -hmm. because of the cost and. Um, Again, this is a long-term process for us, and, and we're going to blow well, this William thing Carey out in 10 years. William more and more great scholarship uh, programs that, uh, that people can work with. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. For education-wise, yeah. um, yep, they've expanded that scholarship program uh, substantially. <clears throat> um, you'll, you'll hear about the growth on the Tradition campus um, in the next few weeks uh, here on this program. but. Um, we need, we need a benefactor for our mission trip, and, and, and hopefully there's somebody out there that connects with that. That's awesome. That is actually aw uh, awesome. Dave, as always, pleasure to see you. Thank you, Jim. Nice to meet you. You too. And thank you so much yes, for your, uh, the work that you're doing, the continued work that you're doing with this uh, wonderful program, uh, CPFI, Christian Pharmacist Fellowship International, a great program that uh, have uh, many programs they have at William Carey University. You can be a part of it. Call the number on your screen or go to the website and check it out.